Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to be going over how to make pure CSS tooltips. Now for those of you who don't know, tooltips are basically a piece of information which is displayed once you hover over an item, element or link on the web page and it displays a piece of information about that link. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so for this tutorial I'm going to be using Dreamweaver CS6. You can work in any version of Dreamweaver or any text editor. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new HTML document. Once this HTML document is created, what we're going to do is we're just going to change the title of this document to something sensible. I'm going to be using pure CSS tooltips, as that is what we'll be making in this tutorial. Once that's done, we can click Ctrl S or click Command S on a Mac and save it to our desktop as index.html. Once this is saved as a HTML file, we can then navigate to our desktop and double click it to view it in our default web browser. Now you can see that this looks a bit blank and boring, so what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this web document and we're going to go back into Dreamweaver and we're going to add some content. But before we add content, we need to add the style tags into the document. So we're going to type style, te type equals text slash CSS. Now within here, we can put in inline CSS and it will apply just like the external CSS style sheets like I've done before. The reason why we're doing this is just because we're going to be using a small amount of CSS classes so we don't need an external style sheet for that. So after that we're going to go into the body tag and we're just going to type in the div of the class of container and we're going to close that div off. Now back into the style section of this document we're just going to create a class for this. So we're going to do period container open curly brace and then we're going to do some width of 400 pixels height of 300 pixels. We're going to have a background color of maybe a light gray, so F0, F0, F0. And we're just going to give it a border of one pixel solid and a bit of a darker gray, so CCC. Once this is done, then we're just going to apply it in a margin. So we're going to have a margin of 10% auto, which will be 10% from the top and auto aligning in the center. So if we refresh, you can see that we have this content area to work with. So, we're going to be creating tooltips, which is basically a link. When you hover over it, it displays more of the link, so more information on that link. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to lay out what we need. So in the container class, we're just going to write out a link tag with the href equal to just a pound symbol for now. We're going to close that off, and we're just going to type in this is the link. Then we're going to open a span tag inside this, which is going to hold the tooltip text. So within the span tag, we're just going to type in, this is the tooltip. Close the span tag and close the link. Now if we save that and go back into Google Chrome and refresh what we have, you can see that this is the link and this is the tooltip is on the same line and it's just one big link. So we need to apply some CSS to change that. Okay, so first we're going to apply a class to this link and this class is going to be tooltip. Once this class is applied, we can then go into the CSS of the document and write out a comment saying that we're just starting the tooltip CSS. Once that's done, we can do a class called tooltip like we applied to the link, open curly brace, and we're just going to give it a position of relative. Now this makes it in a relative position to the housing container or the actual link so that we don't need to worry about positioning every single one of them. So if we close that off we can then do a Z index and we can do it of 20. Now I'm only choosing 20 because you might have other Z index properties on your web page we want it to be above that. Okay so after that what we're going to do is we're going to apply a class to this span tag. So we're going to do tooltip and then we're going to do space span to target that span tag. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do display none. Now that's going to hide the span tag by default. So if we save this and go into Google Chrome and refresh the browser, then you can see that, that this is a tooltip is no longer there and it only shows this is a link. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a hover functionality which displays that tooltip. So if we type in dot tooltip, and then colon hover, that's targeting the hover function of this link. 
open curly brace and we're just going to change the Z index to one above the original Z index, so 21. So we close the curly brace and then after that we're going to target the span tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to, below that, we're just going to type dot tooltip. And just like before, we're going to target the hover functionality of it. And then we're going to edit the span, so we do space span, open curly brace, and we're just going to do display block. And that will display it as like a div on the page. So if we save that and refresh, you can see that when we hover over this, you can see this is a tooltip displays underneath it. But you can still see it still looks like a link. So uh, we don't want that, and we're just going to apply some styling. Now as it's a block, you can then change the width and height of it. So we're just going to have the width of maybe 100 pixels, and we're just going to give it the padding of 5 pixels. Now once we've done this, we can just change the color, change the background color, and we can just play around with a few options depending on what your website looks like is depending on how you might style this. So I'm just choosing like um, a very basic styling of this. Um, I'm going to choose a color, a background, um, then I'm just going to choose the font size, and uh, maybe a border radius. But you see on this document, if we refresh, it has that underline underneath the tooltip. But well, we don't want that, that looks a bit ugly. So how we get rid of that if you don't know already, I just thought I'd mention this, is you type in text, middle score, decoration and set it to none. And then we're going to do position absolute. Now this means that it can be above things on the page and you know we won't have to worry about moving it around too much. After this I'm just going to apply a border radius like I said before and we're just going to give it 6 pixels. So if we refresh you can see that we now have a pretty good looking tooltip I'd say. So what we're going to do is we're then just going to edit the top and left of these tooltips to put them in the right place and as it's relative we don't have to worry about putting them in the right place to the whole browser only to this one link. So you can see that I'm just starting to put this in the middle of the link, uh, maybe drop it down to 20 instead of 10. So there we go. So once you have that and you're kind of happy with your tooltip, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply um, some padding to the site. Once again, you can just play around with these links until you're like happy with the design. So let's just put a padding here of 20 pixels. Once that's done, we can then actually, you know, start to see what it might look like on the site. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this and I'm just going to paste it below three more times just to show you what it looks like with another link and the last link. So we're just going to change the text within there to something different so that we can actually tell um, the difference between the links and it's just not a duplicate, I don't know. Um, but then if we refresh you can see that we have three links on the page and they all display three different tooltips. Now you notice how each tooltip, well this one has uh, the text has dropped down and that's because we've set a um, fixed width on this of 100 pixels. You could change this to something bigger, 150, and then just do text align center. So the text is nice in the center of that and it still looks good. So now I'm going to target the A tag of this document. And I'm just going to do margin right of 10 pixels so it splits them up a bit and we can see what we're doing more. So if we refresh you can see that we have the links and they look pretty good and we have a tooltip application. So that's how we make a pure CSS tooltip. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and yeah stay tuned for more content. Goodbye.